here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 top styling tips for your micro locks. These can also apply to regular locks, but because I have micro locks, we're going to stay specific to micro locks or even smaller locks. So let's get right into the video. So tip number one, this one might get the girlies panties in a while, okay? My top tip is that your hair does not always have to be squeaky clean. I have had some of my best styles on dirty hair. I know y'all used to hear the saying, dirt make your hair grow, listen. I have never washed my hair like as much as I have with locks, but when I was a loose natural, I barely ever washed my hair. When I tell you them styles came out nice, now there is, there is a need for a clean scalp. But what I'm saying is sometimes when you're doing certain styles or want a certain look, especially when you have like smaller locks that are just now starting to bud or you are in your like fresh, freshly lock stage, like it gives it some volume, it gives it some texture and it really makes the hairstyle really come together if you do not start on squeaky, squeaky clean hair. Now there are some hairstyles where you definitely need to completely wash your hair and completely reset, especially if you're a lot girly who uses a lot of products. I personally do not use a lot of products, but having like weak old hair sometimes helps my braid outs, my twist outs, a little band to knot action. It actually helps them come out a little bit better. So that would be my first tip. Tip number two, stop going crazy on your spray bottle. Sometimes your styles just need the slightest bit of water. And this really will come in handy when you're trying to do a last minute style because one thing about me, I'ma go to sleep. And the night before, I really have to have my hair done. Sometimes I do go to sleep, but I'll spray it with a little bit of water, braid my hair down, and I'll have the most amazing braid out. So sometimes the key to having a perfect style is minimizing the amount of water that you use. Even if you are using like a continuous spray bottle, I got this one from Walmart for like seven dollars but you can get them from amazon i'll link the one that i used to have in my description because this is my replacement for that one i really love the other one and i need to rebuy it less water guys quick spritz then get it done you can reapply the water as needed of course but make sure you're not drenching your hair unless the style actually calls for like wet wet hair two styles that are guaranteed to last you a long time. And what I mean by that is when you are styling your hair, whether it's a flexi rod set, a pipe cleaner, curl set, or even just a simple braid out, make sure that you are doing those styles that will last a while. And what I mean by a while is maybe like a week and maybe even two weeks, depending on how long you leave your protective styles in. Because even though you may not be using any like synthetic hair or like braiding in any extra hair, your protective styles are also still protecting your hair. You need to minimize how much you are styling your hair and choosing hairstyles that will last you at least a week will help minimize the breakage in your hair. If you're newly locked and have a softer lock texture, it will minimize slippage. And this will also actually aid in the budding process of your locks maturing because you're not doing too much to it. And this is why they also tell you not to wash your hair as much. I personally don't wash my hair a lot, but if I need to wash my hair, I'm gonna wash my hair. But I have been experiencing some really good and gradual and continual budding in my hair. And I think it is because I don't style my hair too much and I kind of just like let it do what it do. So make sure that you're choosing styles that will last you a while and even finding different ways to style those already existing styles. So if you have like a braid out and it's curly, find a different way to style the curls. Have sun cascading down your face, pin it up, put it in a ponytail, put it in a bun. That way you're getting the most out of that hairstyle and it will actually cut down on the time that you're styling your hair because you already have a style in your hair. Locks is a style in itself, but when you add the enhancement of a curl, of a wave, of a braid, it will actually help you keep that style up and keep your hands out your hair. Along with the protective styling, don't be afraid to add a little extra hair. And I'm, I know that there's a lot of conspiracies and controversy around, you don't need to be putting hair in your locks. If you wanna add some hair, to your locks, we know that Chloe and Hallie are the queen of adding some hair to their locks, okay? If you have a desired style that you want to do, do not be afraid to go to the hair store and get you a little bundle of some of some yakky hair, whether it's like little fake sister lock bundles that they have in the crochet section, or even just some Marley hair. If you have a desired style and you don't necessarily have the length, the volume, do not be afraid to add you in some hair. The same way as if you were a loose natural and you wanted to do your hair a certain kind of way, 
you can still do that. Do not let the YouTube girlies, the TikTok girlies, and of course, other people with other opinions keep you from doing what you want to do with your hair. Because at the end of the day, like, baby, the style is going to get done. And if you need you a $7 bag of Marley hair, just go get that. Because sometimes you just want to switch it up and you don't have to compromise the health of your lock to do that. And also, don't be intimidated by these photos that you see of people with longer locks. Just because they have longer locks than you does not mean that that style won't also look amazing on you. So try the longer styles. If you need a little bit of extra hair, get the extra hair. And those, those crochet sister locks will help you a long way out. Now this one also comes with a little bit of that maintenance. So if you're like me and you just naturally have thick hair, whether I, my hair is in locks, braids, twists, it's thick, okay? And like my mama said, I am Kunta's direct descendant. And one thing about having these itty bitty locks, whether it's a sister lock or a micro lock, you need to make sure that you are popping the roots of your lock. And what I mean by that is every so often and every couple of days when you go in with your water, with your oil, with your leave-in conditioners, you want to make sure that you're taking apart the roots of your hair. Now, if you have a consistent maintenance routine, you will see that during your maintenance routine and their retying, they're popping the lock. That's something that you can do at home too. So that one, your roots are not marrying to each other depending on like the level of activity that you have in between your hair maintenance days, but also just making sure that your locks are staying healthy, that the hair is not getting intertwined, especially if you are consistently styling your hair. And it will also help if you do it at home. If you are somebody who's tender-headed, because I'm a tender-headed queen, if you are somebody who's tender-headed, popping your locks throughout the couple of weeks before you did a retwist or a retie will cut down on the pain that you are experiencing while you're getting your hair done. So make sure you're popping your locks every couple of days, just going through. Even if you want to get one of those micro lock combs that have been going around and just like rake it through every couple of days, make sure that your roots are not marrying to each other. Now this is another big controversial topic in the lock community, whether or not you should dye your hair. If you've been following me, you know that as soon as I got these locks, I dyed them. I dyed my hair before I put the locks in, but the color didn't take. And so a couple months after I had the locks, maybe like two months or a month and a half, I did use dye and I'll link that video to me dyeing my hair at the top of this video. And I used a permanent dye, it was the L'Oreal High Colors. I found it on TikTok, did my research on other people who have the same hair type as me and I absolutely loved it. This is what it looks like. It's been about eight months now and I really need to do it again. I've just been procrastinating. I love how the color has faded. This is really why I'm not re-dyeing my hair. But if you're somebody who's not willing to dye your hair, isn't interested in using permanent color, but still want to play with color in your hair, Maybe you should try a temporary wax color. They sell them at the hair store, they sell them at Sally's. If you go to Sally's, they sell them at Amazon. And you can pick a color and play with your hair. And once you're done with that color, you can just wash it out. If you're not somebody who's willing to commit to one color like I did, you can definitely use those color waxes to try different colors in your hair and still achieve the styles that you want. It works the same as if you're using it for loose hair. You may have to use a little bit more product if you have a thicker lock. But for the people with thinner locks like mine, if you have like tiny, tiny locks, a little product will go a long way and you'll still be able to change up your look. You'll still be able to try a red, a purple, a blue, even if you wanted to. So don't be afraid to play with different colors just because you don't want to dye your hair. Dyeing your hair is not mandatory if you want a little color in your hair. Now this has got to be my favorite tip because everybody's always complimenting me on the accessories that I have in my hair, whether it's a hair bow, whether it's a clip, whether it's a headband, because I love headbands. Do not be afraid to accessorize, okay? I'm really like a girly girl. So like, I love me a little headband, I love a little scrunchie, and I'm gonna use those every time I do my hair because it just gives a little something extra. The same as if you would put on a necklace or an earring, having something to like accentuate your hair or your hairstyle will just take it to another level. Even if you just use a little gold clips that go on braids when people get box braids, that can still transform a look. It can enhance a simple style of you just having a braid in your hair. Don't be afraid to use accessories. I'm gonna do a video of like my favorite accessories that I use for my hair and y'all, don't think just because accessories be expensive on the internet that you have to splurge. This headband that I have on right now, which is a green velvet headband with little white pearl balls, I got this from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm a Dollar Tree queen and the Dollar Tree is actually a really good place to get hair accessories because not only do they have name brand, but they have so many different varieties of different types of hair accessories. And, 
And I'm, I might add that I do enjoy being able to use some of the smaller hair accessories because my locks are smaller. And if you watch my lock sprinkle video, I actually got those beads from the Dollar Tree in the craft section. So just being able to play with different accessories to dress your hair up will definitely change how you feel about your hair. It will change your hairstyles, it will change your outfit, and it won't just be like, oh, I'm so tired of just wearing these locks. I don't even know why I got them anymore. I wanna take them out, I'm ready to cut them off. Like, don't get tired of yourself. Don't get tired of the process. Sometimes when things are visually the same for a long time, we just got to change it up. We just got to keep it fresh. And so think of that in the same way of with your hair and once you get into a rhythm of finding accessories whether it's at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, online you know you'll find what accessories you lean towards and then you'll be able to start incorporating them into your hairstyles. Now y'all heard me talk about popping them locks. Keep up with your maintenance routine. Now if you are not somebody who has a loctician and you do not get your hair done by somebody else I understand as somebody with over 300 locks, I understand that I'm not sitting there for 21, 21 hours doing my hair. Because as a person who took 19 hours to put her first set of locks in, I never again. Okay, never again. But it is imperative that you keep up with your lock routine because the health of your locks will reflect how well you keep up with your lock routine. And this is strictly for people who have smaller locks. Now, there are people who have micro locks, sister locks, and you know, they develop their own type of routine. And that is fine. Develop a routine that works for you. Works for your money, cause these shits ain't cheap. It works for your time, because people who work full time, take care of families, take care of themselves, and just have a life outside of their hair, do not have 20 hours to just set aside and do your hair. So it does get pushed on the back burner. I am grateful enough to be able to still get my hair done, but sometimes when I pay that one something, I'm like, hmm, I can do this myself. And then I'm out and up there in two hours, and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm never going back to that life of sitting and doing my hair for hours. So you need to make sure that you're keeping up with your maintenance routine. So if you're somebody who does your own retie, your own retwist, make you a schedule that works for your life and makes it easier for you to keep up with that routine because the moment you skip a week the moment you skip a day is the moment the roots gonna get a little bit nappy you're gonna be like fuck this i don't want to do it no more so we are trying to make sure that we don't get to a point of like yo i'm about to cut my hair because i know us loose naturals especially us kinky curly 4c girlies you still want to have meltdowns and breakdowns and cry when our hair would not cooperate. So let's make sure that since we chose a well-maintained style to live out our days, we need to make sure that we're making sure that it is achievable. Achievable, guys. Let's create a, uh, let's create a routine that's achievable and it's flexible for our life because the one thing we're not doing and the privilege that we have of just having these luxurious locks in our hair and being able to wake up and go some days we need to make sure that we keep up with that convenience of having these locks and just being able to wake up and go like i said some of these tips will be for any kind of hair but you need to make sure that you are protecting your hair and whatever that looks like if you are somebody who swims a lot you need to figure out how to protect your hair i recently have come to find out that swim caps do not protect your hair in the way that we think you need to protect your hair whether it's you going to sleep whether it's you laying down around the house and as a black girls you need to you need to get the fear of your mama back into your household because why are you around the house and your hair not wrapped up you need to keep that same energy now i know sometimes we want to be we want to be cute for our men and our women but we ain't gonna be cute if we don't have no edges. Wrap your hair up. So you need to wrap your hair when you sleep, when you working out, when you swimming, even sometimes in the hoodies and hats that we wear, if it is possible, invest in a satin lined anything, whether it's a satin lined hoodie, a satin lined hat, you need to invest in something that's gonna always protect your hair. It's gonna help you so much when it comes to just like retaining moisture, your hair budding at the right place, it not breaking and it not thinning off. You need to make sure at all times, if you ain't outside, you need to be wrapped up.
You need to have your hair wrapped up. I know your mama taught you. I know we I know we picking and choosing what we taking into our big girl lives, but I know your mama taught you to wrap your hair up. Wrap your hair up. And the last thing that I would say is just leave your hair alone. Don't get so caught up in it looking like the Pinterest inspiration picture you showed to your loctician when you got them done, the girl you saw on Twitter, the girl you saw on Insta. Don't get so caught up in comparing your hair to other people because one, you don't know what they did to get that style in the 30 second clip they gave it to you or the photo that you're seeing. Be patient with your hair and I know patience, okay? I'm not I'm not a clip and dream girls, okay? I don't have no patience. So I know when I be leaving my retards, I'll be about to cry because I look like a chicken head and none of got time to be out here looking like a chicken head. But you gotta be patient, girl, because one day you gonna wake up and be like, dang, I didn't even realize how like full my hair has gotten, how long my hair has gotten. And you just wanna leave your hair alone. If you can, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. I used to tell people this all the time when they asked me when I had loose natural hair because it was really long. What do you do to your hair? What do you, I don't do nothing. I don't comb it damn near. I don't brush it. I don't even own a comb. And I used to tell people that and they would look at me crazy and I'd be like, you asked. And this is the honest answer. I don't use expensive products. Girl, I use, I used to use African pride, the little $2 African. So leave it alone. Just just leave it alone. I know you're trying to be fine. But like I said in that earlier tip, find styles that last you a long time so you can be fine for an extended period of time. Keep your hands out your hair. And I know your mama told you, don't let other people play in your hair. Listen, even if people be like, oh my God, that's so cute. Don't touch. Pop them. Don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair. Pop yourself if you need to. Keep your hands out your hair and let your hair be okay give it some days to breathe let it breathe in between some styles just let it be when you get your retie don't be doing all that extra tugging and pulling because guess what you can still not have no edges i know we got these pretty locks but you could still not have no edges and we need edges in 2024 we need to we need to y'all just leave your hair alone just leave it alone all right guys those are my 10 top styling tips for micro locks and locks because y'all us girls gotta sit together we learn it we grow we going through the journey but these are the top 10 tips that i abided by when i had loose natural hair and more so when i have had these micro locks and i'm still learning how to like take care of my hair and i really hope that they help you send it to a friend and tell them to send it to a friend for all the people who are considering locks thank y'all for watching this video if you have any more questions about styling about maintenance about any styles that you want me to try comment them i am willing to try anything once so like if you have any questions and i have the answer i will definitely get back to you and i thank y'all appreciate y'all for stopping by and i will catch y'all in my next video Ooh,